Twitter is a goldmine for OnlyFans agency owners, but yet most of them fail monumentally while trying to get it to work. So in this video, I'll give you an entire step-by-step -step guide on how to make the most money with Twitter in the OnlyFans space. So I'll be covering the setup from the phones, how to create the accounts, what to post, when to post, how to scale, yada, yada, yada. So let's get right into the video. So first of all, to make it clear, the method that I'll be recommending is a very individual one. It's agency dependent. It has nothing to do with the spam approach that some agencies do, where they have like 500 Twitter accounts trying to get a single sub from all of them. It's a very bad method, in my opinion. So I'll be telling you how to build one or two, maybe three Twitter accounts, hyper-focusing on them and making big brands, big personalities out of it. Because if we're being honest, we're not here to make a quick buck. We're here to build a six-figure, if not seven-figure business. So I'm, I'll be giving you a method that, if executed correctly, can bring you six to seven figures in, let's say, six months' time, if you do it correctly. Because everything takes time. Now, if we get into the setup, you don't want to be buying age Twitter accounts. Most people buy them. They think, okay, if I buy them, they already have an audience. Yada, yada, yada. It's bullshit. Don't do it. Create the account on your personal phone. You can just do it with an email you created. Cheat code, create an email that is kind of similar to the account's name. If your account's name is, for example, Angela White or some shit, and the email is like poopfart11, you'll have a very funny time when communicating with the support. And trust me, you'll be getting less unbanned. So we're getting banned probably directly, no answer from the support or anything else, which helped us a lot of times when we did this. So create an email that's not complete spam and immediately noticeable from the support site. If you want to be extra safe, link your phone number as well as an email. And again, we're talking about chances here, right? Are you going to get banned? Maybe. But if you have an email and a phone number linked, it's going to make it way easier to recover the account, to not get banned, etc. So especially if we're talking about building up a big account with millions of followers in the end, you're going to have a very shit time once you lose the account and you can't even recover it because you use the spam email and some bullshit phone number. So make sure to nail this correctly because you don't want to be losing like a million follower account just because you were an idiot. Now, the next step is to set the account within the target audience that you want to have. So for example, you want to target the US market. You want US viewers, as most agencies do, to be fair. Then, of course, you set it in the USA. You can do the same with Poland, Germany, UK, whatever you want to do. But this is the first step of getting a mostly US audience or the audience from the country you want to have. Just set it in this region. Also set your viewing preferences to set country. You can see, you can fuck around with the settings and be like, yeah, I want to see content from that country, that city, etc. This is going to get important later on because you'll be interacting with other people's content a lot. So if you have your region in the country that you live in, it may be Poland, it may be Germany, it may be some like Hungary or some shit, then you'll do the mistake of interacting with people from Hungary, from Germany, and that's going to fuck up your audience at the end. So make sure to not forget this. It's going to lead to a lot of problems later on. So the account is created. You got the account set up. You got your profile picture, the banner, the bio, whatever it may be. So now is the time to keep interacting with people's comments, keep commenting on viral posts, keep following people within your target audience, within the countries you want to have them. That means for the next one or two weeks, you'll just be spending time on Twitter. You're going to like some tweets. You're going to comment under some of them. You're going to follow some people where you think, okay, that may be within my audience, whatever your branding, whatever your niche may be. And after 90 days, when we're talking about the account setup, you can also apply for Twitter blue, the little check mark. It's going to help you a lot when you want to be top of the comment section, when you want to get less bans, when you want to be seen as less spammy as a real person. And most people buy accounts purely for that reason. Most people want to get through the blue right from the beginning. So they buy accounts that are like three months old because you need to have an account that's three months old to even get it. But since we already talked about it, it's not worth it. Buying accounts is a shit idea. I'm not going to bore you with the specifics, but after a couple of months, you can verify for that as well. And before I get into what you're going to be posting, what you're going to be commenting, it is important to say Twitter takes time. This is why most people fail, by the way. Twitter needs consistency. It's not like TikTok or IG, where you post a couple of videos and then out of nowhere you get viral. It's like in a casino. When you play slots, for example, you can win the jackpot in three spins or you can win the jackpot in 5,000 spins. It's kind of a gamble and that's kind of how Instagram and TikTok are. You can increase the chances, but in the end, you will never know when a video goes viral. Twitter is like poker. You can win money hand by hand. You can just be increasing your money with every single hand over a couple of hours and consistency wins in the long run. So 
the more active you are, higher your chances are to make money. And the longer you stay consistent, the more money you're going to make. Keep this in mind. And nobody said it was easy, but with this method, it's going to be the easiest out of all. Now, the most important part, what are you going to post? Because this is basically where it comes down. Okay. Which content are you going to post? How are you going to get attention? So I'm going to tell you how to get attention. And afterwards, I'll come to how to monetize it and how to funnel them to the OnlyFans to get all the money from the subscribers. So in order to get attention and to get the right audience, it all comes down to your daily tasks and where you comment and interact with. Your daily tasks will be to do certain rounds of interacting and commenting and posting. So you have interacting, commenting, posting. These are your daily tasks. Put it on the top of your to-do list if you want to get successful with Twitter. You'll just be setting like two times a day where you just do a round, you scroll Twitter, you like a couple of things, you retweet a couple of things. That's the interaction round. Nice. You got that handle. Now you have the commenting round, which is going to be the most important. I'm going to tell you what to comment in a second. So you want to search for tweets that are A, within your target audience, that are US, that are mostly male followers, etc and where you can actually comment something that fits your requirements, which I'm going to come to. And last but not least, once a week, you want to do content scheduling. So you're going to do a content plan, which you want to upload it. Maybe some tweets, maybe some pictures, and you're going to schedule all of them once a week. You can also do it on a daily basis, but trust me, it's going to fuck up your head. So every Sunday evening, you're going to grab a nice cup of coffee, take some nicotine, sit, whatever it may be, and then schedule everything for like 30 minutes and you're done for the week. This is the most time efficient way to do it since you have a shit ton of stuff you want to do on your plate, so you don't want to waste time every single day checking Twitter. Now we're going to come to the most important part. Which content are you going to post and how are you going to get attention in the first place? Now, you will get the most attention on Twitter by commenting under other people's posts. And it's very, very simple. Other people on Twitter, most of them, or X, I'm just, go I'm just going to call it Twitter. I'm not going to call it X. That's fucking gay. But other people have spent years thousands if not millions of dollars in ad spend in trying to build their personal brand to get a following. What you can do is you can just steal a bit of their following, steal a bit of their attention and just kind of get into their bubble, into their niche by commenting. So all their millions of followers will just see your comment. So what you're basically doing is you're riding the wave of other people and you're going on the next wave, then you're going on the next wave. So you want to be hopping from comment section to comment section and farming the attention. Now, most people comment under very basic pages, couple pages, sexual pages. The problem there is it's too much inflation. Every chick figured that out, everybody's commenting there. So that makes sense. What are we going to do? We're going to go up to the next level. We're going to go on public mainstream pages, kind of, or at least in a certain niche, mainstream in the fighting niche, mainstream in the politics niche, something like that. So you want to comment under other people's posts, then funnel the people who see your comment on your page and use the posts and the bio you have on your page to make them click the link and want to subscribe to the OnlyFans. Your posts that you're gonna upload are also gonna get attention, but the main attention in the beginning especially, you will get from the comment sections. Now, how do we pull this off? Because if you just comment something sexual, like you see this on Twitter all the time, there's some viral post and some random OF chick comments, oh, I wish someone would fuck me super hard right now. Of course, nobody's gonna give a fuck, people are tired of it, it's already a known thing, nobody really gives a fuck anymore. So, we're gonna go up to the next level again. So what you want to do is to be minimum one of three things. It's the FCR. Keep that in mind, the FCR. You either want to be funny, controversial or relatable. One of these three things, if not all at the same time. I'm going to give you an example. There is a certain meme or whatever and you're not going to post something sexual at all. You're going to comment under it with a funny comment, maybe making fun of the guy's haircut or saying, this is me when I haven't had my coffee in the morning. Spend normal thing or when it's something about politics. Maybe Joe Biden tweets something, Donald Trump tweets something, or some politic account tweets something. You're gonna say, actually, I think abortion should be illegal because of this. You're gonna be like super controversial. People are gonna be like, wow, why is this chick talking that either they agree or they hate you for it? Either way, you're gonna get attention or you're gonna do something relatable. Even on the politics side, if we wanna stay on that topic, you can say, on a page that is very left wing, you're gonna say, I think everyone should have the right to do this. Then all the people are gonna agree, be like, yeah, this chick thinks what I'm thinking. Wow, she even has a cute profile picture. Wow, a beautiful woman who has my political view, clicking on the account, scrolling through your posts, and if the account setup is right, you're gonna have a new subscriber. So that's basically the game. Now, there's levels to it. First of all, like I said, don't be sexual in the comments. Keep in mind, sexuality on social media isn't competitive. It's not competitive at all. You have no leverage, you have no 
outstanding performance because everybody know everybody sees it all the time if you open instagram for five seconds you're gonna see 50 cuties in a bikini you're gonna see 100 only fans girls showing literally everything if i type in six letters on my browser i can see the most beautiful woman in the world naked with two mouse clicks so sexuality isn't something that makes you outstanding or unique or where people actually care about you or want to pay for what makes you outstanding and unique is like i said being funny while looking cute and being sexual being relatable being controversial having people agree with you having having people think you're talking shit being cringe all this stuff sets you apart and makes you unique which is where you want to go so keep that in mind and the same applies to your content that you post on the main feed on your account as well that means if you upload tweets have a schedule like that i'm gonna share our own schedule that we kind of use within our own agency being in the morning let's say it's like 10 a.m you schedule a tweet where it's like ah just woke up i'm not gonna replying to any comment until I have my coffee otherwise I'm gonna be very grumpy haha <laughs> sleepy maybe a sleepy cat picture and you're gonna be like this is me uh, before I have my coffee today funny girly relatable okay then second tweet let's say 2 p.m you're arrived at the gym the model posts like a mirror selfie where you kind of see the ass and the leggings being like yeah gym streak yada yada who, wanna, who wants to train with me still nothing too sexual maybe it looks cute maybe it looks hot but nothing too sexual normal day behavior and then maybe in the afternoon you're gonna post a picture at like a coffee shop or something and of course you have to like get your credit to record this in advance and being like i just then you're gonna tell something funny maybe you tell a story quick tweet about how you met someone super funny at the coffee shop or they fucked up your order or they misspelled your name something funny something relatable then in the evening when everybody's in their bed alone then you're gonna start the sexual stuff maybe post or f link maybe a picture in lingerie maybe a naked picture in front of the mirror where you cover everything so then is the time to pitch the only fans but you don't want to do it all day so if someone scrolls through a profile they see normal tweet normal tweet funny tweet relatable tweet of promo normal tweet normal tweet funny tweet. there has to be some kind of difference in the tweets because most of agencies if you look at their twitter it's like a fucking porn site every single tweet is oh i want to get fucked oh i'm so horny here's my titties here's my ass here's my only fan it's like so it's like too much no girl on earth would behave like that this is not normal behavior everybody knows it's just marketing they all know it's a lie basically she's not horny 24 7 so like nobody believes this shit and you're not going to get any attention and especially if people go on your profile and they see this believe it or not most of them get turned off and they think ah another of chick this comment that i just saw was just bait so i go on a profile and they don't actually think you're a real girl a real person which under any circumstances is the most important thing for your conversion for your page so make sure to build up your profile like that now before i get into how to funnel the attention to the only fans there's some honorable mentions because with the commenting game there's a very broad marketing scheme that you can use and that is viral topics it can be election between like joe biden kamala harris donald trump andrew tate's arrest the football cup ufc fights major world events uh, celebrity beef some bullshit like that it can be everything that's viral where people talk about it and the secret behind it is to be fast let me give you an example when donald trump had his assassination attempt when i record this video it's like a couple of weeks back maybe a month i read it after like i think 10 minutes after it happened and the first thing i did was tweet about it now what does this mean in comparison what if i had had done it like a couple hours back when the second i tweeted it the comment section started to fill up with people saying what really wait did it really happen like what the fuck this happened they heard it from me or from the model to be fair they heard it from this creator first this was the first time they saw it meaning they engaged with the tweet they comment they share it to their friends like hey did you see like trump got shot like what the fuck same with every topic every topic that is happening right now you can get attention from it if you post about it the day later okay maybe it will work but the faster you are the more attention you're gonna get and like i said this attention brings them on your profile brings them on your f brings them to subscribe so be fast with major world events this is where the real money is and now to the last point for the funnel to f you would just want to get a snip feed or get all my links where the only fans is linked a lot of agencies to cover that quickly think it's a good idea to use a free trial link to the only fans say okay if you click on this link you can subscribe for free and then i can sell you in the dms they think it's a good idea because you get more subs you can sell to more people but it's a logic fail you fuck up your chatting and you make less money overall 
Trust me, I've tried it a hundred times. You make less money. Why is that? Because on paper it looks good. You make more subs, you can sell to more people on the OnlyFans, you make more money. It's false. The reason for that is if we go into the sales perspective, as all of you have done sales in the past know this, the hardest thing to do as a salesman is make somebody do their first purchase, even if it's $3 for the sub price. Getting someone to link their credit card, pull it up, click on purchase and do the first sale is the hardest. Making them do the second sale when they've already got the card link, made the purchase is very fucking easy to be fair. So if you make people subscribe, even if it's $3, they already spent money. They already made sure there's money on their credit card and just doing the second purchase, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the hundredth purchase is way easier. So having the sub price real, don't ha not having a free trialing on Twitter, best thing you can do. Also, as I've explained in multiple videos, almost every video out there, you wanna be perceived as super high valuable. Like the perceived value of your content, of your account, of your brand has to be super, super high because most live pages have very low perceived value. And as I've explained, everybody knows this is true. Okay, now imagine if your page is completely free and you don't have to pay a single cent to like watch it, do you think people are gonna perceive the page and the content as high value? Probably not. So if you try to sell content, they're gonna be like, I mean, I've basically seen your titties for free. Why would I pay like 50 bucks for a video? So the perceived value goes down if you have a free trial link or a free page, which is not what you wanna do. So since most of the money is being made in the chatting anyway, you don't wanna have people subscribe for free and watch your content for free. Now, we have that settled, you know how to create the account, how to get attention, how to funnel it, how to build the account up, etc, etc. Now you have everything it takes to build up Twitter successfully. It's just gonna take time until you build it up. If you have any more questions, join the 7,000 member OFM Telegram community that I've created. You get everything for free. You can just join via the link in the description. No payment, no sign up needed. And you will get access to two free eBooks as well as you can download them in the description as well. Get your help from a lot of millionaires, a lot of successful guys in the industry without wasting time. Wish you a great day. Wish you great success. Talk to you soon. Bye bye.